political ads. We're all pretty annoyed with them by now. Tonight, Local 5's chief political correspondent is taking your questions to find out the truth behind some of them. Legally, TV stations can't censor political ads. That's because they're considered free speech and are protected by the First Amendment. However, we can fact check what is said in those ads, and that's what we're doing tonight. Tonight, I'm focusing on health care. One ad about Senator Joni Ernst claims... Senator Joni Ernst says it's important that we protect people with pre-existing conditions. But look what she's doing in Washington. Voting to confirm judges handpicked by special interests. Judges who struck down coverage for pre-existing conditions in the Affordable Care Act. This claim is true. Earlier this year, Senator Ernst voted to confirm Justin Walker to the U.S. Court of Appeals. Walker has criticized the Supreme Court decision to uphold the ACA. Ernst, however, has also sponsored a bill that would have protected coverage for people with pre-existing conditions. A health care claim made against Democratic Senate candidate Teresa Greenfield. Greenfield supports a new government-controlled health insurance system that could force rural hospitals to close, threaten employer-provided coverage, and raise taxes on workers by two thousand dollars a year. This claim is somewhat true, but it needs some context. A study published by Guidehouse, a nonpartisan consulting firm, found 52 rural hospitals could be at risk of closing under a public health care plan Greenfield supports. But in a debate on Iowa PBS, Teresa Greenfield said her plan offers the best protections for rural hospitals because Medicaid expansion has helped keep those hospitals open. We'll continue to look into the political ads you see both on TV and on your social media feeds. Be sure to send us your ideas at the number you see on your screen. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Now, the Federal Trade Commission is responsible for ensuring ads are true. Political ads don't fall under their truth in advertising law because they're protected as political speech under the First Amendment.